Hi everyone, welcome back to Harp and Guitar, People and Music, and welcome back to another edition of Whiskey's Blues Gumbo. This is the show where we take weird and strange blues words or phrases and try to figure out what they mean and what they're talking about. And today I've got one that's probably very familiar, but you may not necessarily be aware of what the origin of uh, this phrase is and what exactly they mean. And that phrase would be, dust my broom. Exactly, just like Robert Johnson's, I'm going to get up in the morning, I believe I'll dust my broom. What's he talking about? Dust is broom, that doesn't make any sense. Well, let's see. We'll start with African American tradition in the South, because to this day it is still considered impolite to sweep the floors after sundown. And that's because um, it's part of a superstition or a, a series of beliefs that, yes, if you're sweeping, you're going to sweep out the evil spirits at night before you go to bed. But unfortunately, you might also be sweeping out the spirits of your dead ancestors who come to your house at night to watch over you and protect you while you sleep and keep the evil spirits away. So you basically are throwing out the baby with the bathwater. Now, if you go back even further than the African-American tradition to the actual, where it comes from, the African tradition itself, from the continent of Africa, the Yoruba tribesmen of Africa uh, would have had shaman or holy men. And these holy men would uh, practice something that uh, they believed was done by one of their deities or one of their gods. This was a, uh, a god of the underworld that would walk around with a broom. And if he shook or shook the broom at you or touched you with the broom, you would get a deadly disease like the plague. So this sort of ancient belief coming from Africa of, you know, broom carrying uh, illness or disease, and then once it sort of uh, made its way into the now newer African-American culture of the 18th and 19th centuries, it sort of transformed itself into the superstition where the broom could do good or bad depending where and when you use that broom. And now, once it made its way even further into the Southern African-American culture, like voodoo, for example, they believed that if you took a broom and dusted it with magic powder first, and then swept with it, you could actually inflict your enemies with some of these diseases or illnesses without doing any harm to yourself or without harming any of the uh, helpful and watchful spirits of your bygone ancestors who were going to be watching over you at night. So, could Robert Johnson have been laying a curse upon his his woman, when he said, I'm going to get up in the morning, I believe I've dust my broom, because that black man you've been loving, he can have my room. Was he cursing her? Or was he simply going to sweep up, sweep out the bad spirits from his house, and make his way on to uh, his next destination? It's hard to say exactly what Robert Johnson meant when he sang, dust my broom, but we do know where it comes from and what it means. So there you go. That's my broom. So I hope that answers any questions you might have. And of course, if you, uh, if you have any other questions regarding uh, strange or goofy blues terms or words or phrases, let me know in the comments section and we'll sure to look into it and figure out what the heck they talking about. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers that have been coming by. Great to see. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And of course, as always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Harp and Guitar, People and Music. We'll talk to you again real soon. All right? Thanks. Bye-bye.